Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will explore how to download and install Unity. Let's get started. Step 1. Visiting Unity's official website. Step 2. Unity offers several plans, but for this tutorial, we'll select the free Unity Personal plan, which is perfect for individual developers and beginners. Click Start here under Unity Personal. Step 3. Downloading Unity Hub. Next, you'll see a button to download Unity Hub. Unity Hub is a management tool that helps you install, manage, and launch Unity versions. Click the Download Unity Hub button and save the installer file to your computer. Step 4. Installing Unity Hub. Once the download is complete, open the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install Unity Hub. After installation, launch Unity Hub and sign in or create a Unity account. Step 5. Launching Unity Hub and checking installed versions. Now that Unity Hub is installed, open it from your desktop or start menu. When Unity Hub launches for the first time, it might ask if you want to add a Unity version right away. For now, we'll skip this step. Simply click the Skip button. You can always add a Unity version later by going to the Installs tab and clicking Add. This will let you choose the version you need and any additional modules required for your project. By default, the most optimized and recommended Unity versions will be displayed. These versions are ideal for most projects, providing stability and performance. If you wish, you can also explore and download other Unity versions. To do this, go to the Installs tab in Unity Hub and click on Add to view all available versions and select the one you need. After selecting the version you want, click on the Download button. Unity Hub will automatically begin downloading the selected version. If you need any additional modules, such as Android or iOS build support, you can select them during this process. Now that Unity Hub is set up, we will install the latest Unity 6 LTS, long-term support, version, which is the most stable and recommended for long-term projects. For now, I will show you the essential modules that are required for most projects. Android Build Support, if you're planning to develop for Android. WebGL Build Support, if you're planning to develop for the web. Unity Documentation, for access to official manuals and guides. We approve all the guides and license agreements that appear. Then, click on Next to proceed. At the end of the download, the Visual Studio installation screen will appear. From here, we only need to select Unity and uncheck the Unity Hub option on the right side of the screen. If you want to develop for other platforms or in different languages, you can select Visual Studio from here. However, for Unity, these additional options are not necessary. The installation has been successfully completed, and we are now ready to get started and I would like to show you a few additional things. You can choose the location for your project. Alternatively, you can customize the Unity Hub to either dark or light mode according to your preference. You can also choose a custom license type if you wish, depending on your specific needs or the type of project you're working on. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, goodbye.